is Cobbett Square. Got me two. Here you go. So that's four of a kind. Point to me. Slipping out without saying goodbye. All right then. Goodbye, everyone. See you all later. All right, cheeky. Finish your coursework. Dotted every I, crossed every T. You can check if you want. Liar. Calm down, Sarge. Can I go out, Mum? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? I will tomorrow. Love the uniform, by the way. I think you look very handsome. Handsome? You look very tidy, dear. What you see in my sister, I don't know, Ash. Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. Off you go, then. Text me when you're on your way home, love.
bet you five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, I just don't want to upset the neighbours. You don't shit where you eat. Hey Donna. Hey, you got here quick. Not working at the Godfather tonight? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. Don't say that. We eat there every week. <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Never a dull moment in the Chowdhury household. Are you both finished? Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? Pretty lady, eh? I've been watching him from my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy. You okay? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. Boys too. Vivek, I'd have hoped your parents would have talked to you about this. Let me explain the birds and the bees. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a guerrilla army. Could be kidnap. International slave trade? Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play knock down ginger on him. Let's see if he's on Tinder. No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. I don't think Emma would know the meaning of covert. Getting bored. Want to do some gas? Oh, sweet. I'm up for that. Okay, Becky. What would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out, you get £20 million. Tax free. Or get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either. They both sound shit. No, you have to. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like a really horrible slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it worse.
Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. I wonder where he's going. We should follow him. No way! I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. If you play your cards right, you could be his next victim. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high-concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. Look, lively codfather. The catch of the day is getting away. You know, he's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. Still entertaining the guerrilla army theory then? Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fellas, probably just ran out of condoms. Cannibal murderer, but practices safe sex. Nice. Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo at the ploughman's arms. He's actually pretty good looking. For a deranged killer. I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, make a boy blush. Viv, you do have form when it comes to these wild stories. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. Never been to this part of town before. Me neither. Handsome guy's heading for that old building.
Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Place is half fallen down. Maybe he works in construction and he left his car keys in there or something. Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. What do you think, Becky? Shall we take a look? I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. I think there's another way in. that back door over there. Crap! It's locked. Well, that's, uh, that's that then. One of those top floor windows are open. We could climb up those boxes. Willing to concede at this point, he might not be the head of a guerrilla army. Are you guys seeing this? Guy's like an X-Man or something. Holy shit, we're gonna be rich! You are? Get a video of this! We'll sell it to the tabloids. Imagine the likes. Shoot it from here. Let me find the right position. This is mental! <laughs> Run, you bellend! Wait! You guys! Guys, I'm stuck! You guys! What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. Have you killed him? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. Vivek, phone 999. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. 
I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Oh, I don't know. I can't think straight. We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. <sighs> that should hold him for now. Thank God he's still breathing. Okay, so let's call an ambulance. We can call anonymously, they'll just show up. We don't have to be here. Hang on. We've left our fingerprints all over the place. And your sister's a copper? Well, we're screwed. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. Emma? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant! What's wrong? I'm still out with Vivek and Becky. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now and you're nowhere to be seen. Oh, cool. We can walk back together then. Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, won't be a minute. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? Emma is looking for us. Your sister? She's outside Vivek's place right now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. Don't worry, Becky. I'll deal with this. Shh! Why are you shing us, Viv? I was trying to get you to stop saying our names. Why? He's awake. 